This week on The Wire, RBA cut boost sentiment, sentiment, house prices tip to rise, and RBA Governor Philip Lowe tells ANZ and Westpac customers to take their business elsewhere. Welcome to The Wire, the where you can get all the top stories happening for the week in real estate for Thursday the 6th of June. Uh, g'day guys, my name is Tim Guest, I'm Australia's leading financial educator and the managing director of Infinite Wealth. I've trained over 18,000 people how to reach their financial goals, whether it be things like home ownership, travel and lifestyle, all early retirement. Thanks for tuning in. If you're a first time viewer, make sure you click follow or subscribe so that you can stay up to date with all the, uh, the valuable information that we do on these videos uh, each and every week. And if you're a long time follower, thanks for tuning in. We love to see you guys. We love to see all your interaction, your like, love, angry. Um, and of course, uh, you guys sharing these posts with your friends and family as well. But uh, let's kick it off and get into the top stories happening this week. So RBA cut boost sentiments. So Three years after last reducing the official interest rate, the Reserve Bank of Australia has announced a widely predicted cut to 1.25%. So many analysts expect a second rate drop to come in August and some expect even more. Westpac Chief Economist Bill Evans last week forecast three rate reductions in the official interest rate over the next six to seven months. Now, buyer's agent Kate Hill of Advisable um, says the RBA decision delivers a quadruple effect for real estate markets on top of the trifecta uh, of the election, uh, uh, of the election, the end of Labor's negative gearing policy, and APRA's easing of lending criteria. She says it will certainly liven things up a bit. Property advisor Danny Buxton from Triple Zero Property also says there's now increased levels of positivity and activity in real estate. The positive changes from the past two meets mean it's a great time for people to reassess their goals and get expert advice. Uh, also, realestate.com.au chief economist Nerida Connorsby says the rate reduction will have a positive effect on the market, uh, with history showing that cuts have an immediate effect on search activity. Certainly, a lot of the news that we're hearing from around the market at the moment is the increases uh, in inquiry. Um, so definitely some uh, increased sentiment in the property market around the country thank to the, thanks to the interest rate cut. So now let's also move on to house prices tip to rise. So the housing market downturn in the biggest cities is coming to an end, according to economists predicting a spike in house prices as soon as July. So a very quick reaction from the market there. Macquarie Bank's equity strategy team says data uh, has previously shown a huge bounce back after uh, after a peak decline in property prices, with history expected to repeat itself very soon. House price growth reached its worst on an annualised basis in January, and this is mainly referring to the Sydney and Melbourne markets. Prices have continued to fall since then, but the rate of decline has slowed. Um, that's what the bank wrote in the statement. If you look at price cycles, an increase in annual uh, an increase in house prices occurred five to seven months after the trough in the annualised growth rate. Using the average of six months, prices could rise by July. Now, Macquarie's prediction is also attributed to interest rate cuts, uh, relaxed lending conditions, and the recent election result. AMP Capital's uh, Chief Economist, Shane Oliver, um, has similar sentiments. Uh, the combination of the removal of the threat to property tax concessions, interest rate cuts, and financial help for first home buyers, as well as APRA uh, relaxing its 7% interest rate test, points to house prices bottoming earlier and higher than we've been expecting. So that's uh, coming from uh, AMP. Uh, Chief Economist Shane Oliver. But let's also move on. Very strange um, behaviour from both um, Josh Frydenberg and the uh, who's the, the Treasurer and uh, the Reserve Bank Governor Philip Lowe, who have been encouraging customers of uh, Westpac and ANZ who didn't pass on the full interest rate cut to shop around. Um, some really good advice. Look, uh, the truth is, guys, that if your interest rate doesn't start with a three, you definitely want to have a chat with our team because there's a lot of options out there and um, we could certainly help you save some money. Um, so getting into that story there, Reserve Bank Gulliver Philip Lowe has urged customers of ANZ and West, Westpac to take their business elsewhere because of their failure to pass on the RBA cut in full. Federal Treasurer Josh Frydenberg has also criticised those banks who reduced their mortgage rates by less than the 0.25% RBA reduction. But mortgage broker Louise Lucas says those banks were already offering uh, lower rates than competitors uh, like NAB and the Commonwealth Bank. Lucas of the property education company says ANZ and Westpac have been buying business with much lower offers than the advertised rates. They've been much lower than Commonwealth Bank for months, um, uh, but they bring it on themselves by the way that they publish their interest rates. So people should consult an expert because the standard variable rate that is advertised bears no comparison to the actual rate that borrowers will be paying. 
Um, they do comparisons across major lenders every single day to find out what's theirs. I know we do the same thing. Um, but the other thing is, is that you probably need to steer your vision away from the big four. Um, the big four are really quite expensive compared to a lot of the other lenders out there right now. Uh, with interest rates, the cheapest, and uh, this is the last time I checked was about two weeks ago because I don't do this um, every single day, but I know that Suncorp are offering 3.58%. So that's an incredibly competitive rate. Um, and like I said, you should definitely be able to get an interest rate with a three in front. If you haven't, speak to our team. Um, uh, Lowe, just finishing off the, the story here, guys. Uh, so Philip Lowe demanded that banks pass out the full cut in interest rates to help drive economic growth. Um, so I do think uh, I do think there's some wise advice that uh, both ANZ and, and Westpac should be heeding there, uh, passing on, looking to be increasing their market share uh, as the markets start to pick up. But guys, that's all the top stories happening from the week in real estate. Just a couple of quick reminders before we go. Don't forget our Just Ask Tim video series, which I do every week. I could be asking, answering your question live in one of our broadcasts. So if there's a question you've got, anything related to finance, real estate, property, investment, send it through on any one of our social media channels. Um, and uh, I'll be sure to, uh, we'll be sure to get back to you. I may even be answering your question live on one of our broadcasts. Also, just a reminder, we'd love to see your interaction with the post. Please like, love, angry, comment, question. Please share this post with your friends and family as well. Uh, obviously, it helps us build a, a, great, a bigger audience, but also, of course, your friends and family then get the benefit of that value information, guys. But that's pretty much it from me. I uh, hope everyone's got a, a great weekend ahead planned. Uh, please enjoy your weekend. Please drive safe, guys, and I'll be coming at you probably on Tuesday with the Just Ask Tim video series then. Apart from that, guys, have a great day. Speak to you soon.